Do your customers ask you for higher gain antennas? We have seen this question being asked a number of times and uh, we just want to tell you beware. Um, higher gain is not always the best option for marine omnidirectional antennas. The problem is uh, twofold. That the first thing is, as per this example over here, maybe a hypothetical extreme example, but what we have over here is a very high gain antenna basically beaming into the water, the other one beaming into the sky in the different directions. Your target is actually on the beach because that is where your base station or your LTE network is. If you have a high gain antenna in this example, then your signal will continuously fluctuate. Fluctuating signals in LTE and Wi-Fi are so detrimental to your service that you'll actually get a much worse performance as a result. The second problem that we also see is that, um, that customers ask us for um, higher gain antennas, but when we evaluate uh, some of our competitors, we see that the higher gain antennas actually have poor omnidirectionality. And the problem with a poor omnidirectionality is that if um, it may appear as a high gain antenna, but as high gain as it is, it's there are components in different directions that are actually much worse than the, the highest gain stated. So for example, a, um, a 9 dBi antenna might be 9 dBi, could be in this direction over here, it could be even a component into the sky that has no effect on your reception, but because there's a higher gain component, there's often a lower gain component to that as well. It could just be that in this example over here, towards the coast, even if you did have a, uh, an appropriate antenna, that you would be in the null or in a bad spot in the omnidirectionality of the antenna. So therefore, make sure that your um, omnidirectionality of your antenna is perfect or near perfect. At Pointing, we pride ourselves with uh, firstly making sure that our omnidirectionality is a non-compromise of our antennas. You will see on our data sheets uh, full details on that and uh, you will see that, that, is, uh, that our uh, omnidirectionality is superior compared to many other companies. The second uh, point, as I mentioned earlier, is your elevation beamwidth. And in some cases, as with this example over here, Lower, be, uh, lower gain and higher elevation beam width would have been better. If I had a lower gain, that means I would have had a, a larger elevation beam width, which means as this boat rocks and sways on the water, you'd still have consistent signal. As the signal now is fluctuating, then you have signal, then you don't have signal. That is the worst situation that you can have. Rather make sure you choose the correct antenna, an example, a pointing antenna, and then you don't have any of those concerns.